This ClickView enablement module will provide you with an introduction to script logs in the ClickView desktop environment. It will include both interpretation of the log content and how the logs can be used for troubleshooting. The ClickView script log files are a great starting point for troubleshooting failed ClickView application reloads. In order to get a log file from the ClickView application log, the logging feature must be enabled. Please notice that logging is enabled at each document level, not at the desktop application level. Let's start by opening a ClickView application that you want to turn logging on. Navigate to the Document Properties. Under the General tab, the logging can be enabled or disabled by checking or unchecking the option called Generate Log File. Enabling this option means that the log file is generated on each reload by replacing the previous log file. Take note, this option must be enabled to generate script logs on server-side reloads as well. Now, if we reload the QVW, it will generate a log file in the folder where the QVW file resides. Let's take a look inside a log file and see what information it contains. There are three main columns. First column are timestamps. Second column are script row numbers. Third column are statements. Now, there are four different sequences, beginning with script start indication, then system variables definition, which are not defined in the script, then script statements executed as defined in the QVW, and finally the script finish. So a great debugging tool for log files is the trace command. It writes a string to the script execution process window and to the script log file. It can be used to track variable values, track current sheet, and other relevant information. Now, using expansions of variables that are calculated prior to the trace statements, you can customize the message. Most often, a common log file for all loads is enough, but occasionally one log file per reload is required. By enabling the timestamp feature in the document properties, one file per reload will be generated. Under the General tab, click the Timestamp in Log File Name option. So each log file name will contain a timestamp indicating the reload time. Note, repeated reloads can lead to a lot of log files, which might cause problems as files occupy disk space. Consider using the timestamp feature when debugging an issue. Let's give it a try so you can see. I will reload this document six times by pressing the reload button or by pressing the control R. Now you will see six log files with timestamps in the file name, generated in the same folder as the QVW. The next thing you should be aware of is that ClickView has several different types of error codes within the log file. You can find the list of error codes by opening the Help menu. Press F1. Then search for Script Error and click on Error Variables. There are 11 different error codes. Issues that do not fall within the specific code will be indicated as general script errors. So let's take a look at a sample log file, which shows a common error. The script is not written with correct syntax. This would most commonly be caused by a missing character in the script or incorrect function call. By opening a different log file, you can see another common issue, SQL errors. These errors are often related to the database side. The root cause, for example, can be an incorrect SQL syntax, authentication issue, network connection issue, etc. In this sample log file, the error code Oracle ODBC ORA ORA 12154 originated from the Oracle database. These database originated error codes can be often found on the internet for further troubleshooting. Then, all log files are expected to terminate with execution finished. If this is not the case, the reload has stopped unexpectedly or the execution process, called qv.exe, has crashed or has been killed. Reviewing what we just learned, as a reminder, when you run into script errors or failures, a great way to troubleshoot these issues is to become familiar with the script logs and how they are structured. A few tools and resources you can use include the ClickView Help menu by pressing the F1 key while ClickView Desktop is open, also, you can view the release notes, the reference manuals, as well as browse the Click community.